When I was a freshman, I was a lot different than I am now. Um, when I got here, everything was like, it was really exciting and exhilarating and it was overwhelming at the same time. So I thought it was this big shot. Um, come to realize, you know, <clears throat> real fast, you realize that you're not, that you're just a freshman and that you just, you have to learn the ropes. It was our first time away from home, really. So, you know, some people were homesick. But, but it felt good to be away, you know, just out meeting new people, seeing new things. You walk in alone when you first start, and when you leave, you have like a whole group of people that, you know, you've come to know and come to share your life with. I've become so much more open to new ideas in the last four years. I've begun to um, really look at other people and what their ideas are and to respect them, whether I agree or disagree, and to really understand why they feel that way. I was a young, cocky athlete when I walked in as a freshman, and I outgrew that a lot in the last four years, and I learned to concentrate on school. Changed a lot in the past four years. Um, become more aware of, of those around me and what's going on in, uh, with myself. After four years here at Carthage, I've learned how to be able to express my views in a way, in a constructive manner. I think I've grown up, uh, got clear judgment on, uh, on things, and it's really beginning to dawn on me the, re the reality of the world of which I'm about to enter. I also know where I want my life to go, and I have a closer-knit group of friends that I've met here. In the J-term, uh, class that I did. It was a self-designed class and I had to teach second grade in another language and that was uh, really interesting and kind of frightening and it definitely changed my outlook on the world of education. I look at my children's education differently. I look at my education differently. How it's so important to succeed and do the right thing but it's also important to be a well-rounded person. Um, you learn much more about your parents because you know, you're know you fresh out of high school and you think your parents really don't understand you or don't agree, but the whole time your parents have really just been rooting for you. I'm really becoming myself and doing what I want to do and standing up for myself a lot more now. It's great. I had a professor open up about something that happened to them personally, and it made me realize that my education, I guess, at Carthage is really based on relationships. And I really felt then that I could open up to that professor because they respected me enough. People would probably be surprised to know that when I was uh, an undergraduate, I was a bit of an amateur magician. Well, I think my students are surprised at how poor I am at quick arithmetic and how many addition and multiplication mistakes I make in class. They learn pretty quickly that they have to watch and, and correct those before I get two blackboards down the road. When I go home at night, I don't open up a chemistry book. You know, I go see a movie. I like literature. I go to operas. And loud music is very important to my life. They might be surprised to find out that I take naps in my office, that I have a little mat, that I, a camping mat, that I unroll under my desk. I put a little sign on my door saying, we'll be back in half an hour, and I take a power nap for 20 minutes just about every day. People would be surprised to know that I hold the record at my gym for the leg curl. That I have a subscription to NFL ticket and opera tickets. I pray daily in my own fashion. I'm much happier in real life. I'm a construction worker. I'm, I'm pretty happy with a sledgehammer in my hand. Um, I am going to start working at Kohl's Corporate Offices in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, and I will be a promotions coordinator in their e-commerce department. I will be attending Illinois College of Optometry in Chicago. So I actually plan on pursuing a basketball career. My plans are to start off going for my uh, dream of being a portrait artist. Grad school at University of Illinois Chicago to get my master's in social work. 
planning on attending uh, graduate school, um, leaning more towards Chicago Theological Seminary. I plan to work at a mortgage company in Kenosha, so I'm staying in town. I'm going to go to DePaul University in Chicago. I got accepted there for my master's in information technology. When I graduate, I plan on becoming a firefighter. I will be attending Indiana University um, in the fall, studying arts administration. I got a job out in California. I will be working at San Jose State University in San Jose, California, imagine that, as an assistant residence life coordinator and also studying at the same time for my master's degree. I actually have a job lined up with a company uh, called Aerotech. Um, I'll be recruiting and be in sales. And I'm going into um, a master's program in oral deaf education, and I'm really excited. <laughs> your planner open, fill it with things that are going to enrich your mind, and continue to live the life of the scholar, the life of the intellectual, regardless of what your field is. Keep your mind open, ask questions, and be a lifelong learner. I know now that asking questions is as important as knowing answers, and I wish I had asked a lot more questions be impeccable with your word. Uh, that is to always tell the truth as well as you can. Embrace failure and suffering. Your life's gonna probably be full of it, hopefully not too much, but you can learn a lot and there's a lot of joy that can come from it. People should take what they do seriously uh, and do the best they can at it, but I don't think you should take yourself so seriously because probably the world went on before any one of us <laughs> graced its place and will continue to go on. I wish I had known when I graduated that my professors were right, that their advice uh, and their wisdom was right on. Try to find something you're passionate for. Uh, you're going to be working hard, long hours on whatever it is, and if you feel like you're being useful and you're doing something you love, um, what a wonderful next 30, 40 years of a career you'll have. Let that passion come through um, and be willing to make changes in their life if the passion isn't present. I guess the, the belief that, that guides my life most is uh, to do the right thing. And I think that uh, sometimes that makes you popular and sometimes it makes you unpopular. But at the end of the day, uh, if you do the right thing, you're comfortable with yourself and you usually earn the respect of other people. Look for the positive in, in everything and always be ready to be surprised even by something that you think you are, you know, or you're going to understand. Um, there are surprises everywhere and it's, life is a lot more fun if you look for those, if you can be thrilled by the small things in life. College is the best four years that you have where you have the most freedom and the most time. And to take advantage of that and look back on it with very happy eyes because your future is going to be different. And uh, your college is important to you and you'll carry that with you for the rest of your life. I know I couldn't have done any of this without the friends or family that supported me for four years. And so just as much as I'm graduating today, graduating today, um, my family is graduating today, and my friends are graduating today, and they deserve just as much honor and prestige as I do. I would like to thank my parents, especially for all the support that they've given me through these four years, uh, and tell them that they are phenomenal in terms of support that they've given me and my siblings um, and in terms of unconditional love that they've had for us as well. Thank you so much for all the support and all the, um, all the wonderful things that you guys have done for me in the past year. Teachers, friends, family, everyone here, you guys have supported me through so much and I could not be where I'm at and where I'm going without you.
righteous, may you grow.